We are in Windows Server 10, and I'm going to show you how to link a group policy object to an organizational unit. Earlier, we created an OU for our test users in a previous video. So now we're going to link a group policy to that. So anybody who's in the uh, OU for test users will be affected by that. So let's go ahead and pick our test user, drag it into the OU for test users. Go ahead and click oh, Yes. We're going to, we want that to happen. So now we have our test user. Now what we're going to, want to do is go into Server Manager. And from here we go to our Tools menu and choose Group Policy Management. And when that opens, it's going to show our forest and our domains and then our OUs. So there is our OU for test users. And now what we can do is we can right click on that and choose create a group policy object in this domain and link it here. So we're going to call it our test group policy object. And we're going to click OK. And if we right click on that, we can see that the link is enabled. So that means that when uh, our test user logs in, they will be affected by whatever is in here. So let's go ahead and edit. And when we edit, we can make changes to either the computer or the user. In our case, we've got a user linked into that OU. So we can go in and make any kinds of changes we'd like, such as we can go to the control panel and we can double click on add or remove programs, specify or hide the add a program and double click on that. And if we enable this, it will hide the add a program from CD-ROM or floppy disk option. Go ahead and click enable, click OK and close. And now when the uh, test user tries to log in, then that option will be hidden. So that's how we link a create and link a group policy object in Windows Server.